Welcome back to Critical Wade Theory, where sometimes we like to have a little bit of a heart-to-heart -heart and explore the intricacies of relationships, fate, and the power of connection. Ooh. Well, in addition to talking about politics and, you know, doing movie and TV show reviews sometimes. So today we're diving into a fascinating topic of whether people are meant to be together or not. You know, the idea of being meant to be as a couple or, you know, a fateful, splendid, perfect marriage or, or whatever. If, if you believe in somebody being the one, you know, are you, are you being full of crap, you know? So we've all heard the phrase meant to be thrown around in romantic context, but what does it really mean? Is it just a cliche or is there some truth to the notion that two people, despite obstacles and time apart, are destined to find their way back to each other? The idea that if two people are meant to be together, they'll eventually find their way back to each other is a popular romantic notion. This belief suggests that people, you know, have fate or destiny in their lives. It'll bring them together regardless of the obstacles or the time spent apart. But what happens when fate brings two people back together only for things to not work out once again? So that starts to sound more like a dysfunctional type of relationship. So, you know, it can... uh sometimes not be as romantic a notion as like a Hallmark card might suggest. So let's consider a real-life scenario shared on Quora. One user experienced being brought back together with someone by fate only for it not to work out again. They wondered what this could mean. So this kind of experience can be interpreted in several ways. It might suggest that while fate brought them together, for lack of a better word, or factors like timing, personal growth, or circumstances were not aligned, and then they became aligned, but then they became disaligned. <laughs> or would it be mal-aligned? I don't know. Just things didn't work out. They'd, they screwed things up. It could mean that there are still lessons to be learned or that their paths were meant to cross for a specific purpose for a limited amount of time, even if it wasn't meant to be long term. Well, that's if you actually believe things are meant to be and fate and all that kind of stuff. Now, I'm trying not to dismiss that as garbage, but, you know, it's it's kind of in my nature to say that's garbage, you know, that's a bunch of fake nonsense or, or whatever, you know, like, but I'm trying not to be cynical here. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to explore the different perspectives, even if I know they're kind of phony baloney to my ears. But when someone tells you, I'm sure we'll cross paths again, it often implies a sense of positive expectations and the belief that the relationship or connection will continue in the future. This phrase is frequently used in a friendly and optimistic context, but what does it mean when you and another person can't stay out of each other's lives, even though, or even through other relationships? So here are a few perspectives to cons consider. You know, you've got the fate and destiny concept, or maybe an ideal. Some people believe that if two individuals continually find their way back to each other, despite other relationships and circumstances, it could be a sign that they are destined to destined to be together. So I, I get that idea. I really do. You know, like, if, even from a logical perspective, even taking some of the uh, romantic, emotional stuff out of it, it's, it just seems like a logical thing a person might think. You know, like, okay, here's this person back yet again, maybe through a random circumstance, and well, that, that just makes sense. You know, it's like life itself is telling me I'm meant to be with this person, etc., etc. So I, I get that. You know, I'm, I'm trying to not be too dismissive of that. And it even, it even does kind of 
make some sense. Well, then there's the emotional connection. A persistent connection might indicate a deep emotional bond that's difficult to break. Unresolved issues, sometimes uh, reconnecting repeatedly with someone can be a sign of unresolved issues or emotional dependency. I think a lot of us have either seen that or we've been in that type of relationship. And there's also a personal growth factor. You might consider how both individuals have grown and changed over time. Being unable to stay out of each other's lives might suggest there's still more to learn from each other. Like, you know, maybe they are deeply needing of some additional life lessons. And then there's, you know, the impact of external factors such as just timing, circumstances, and life goals that might, you know, bring people in a similar situation and they meet that way. So... Let's talk about balancing fate with effort. While the concept of being meant to be can offer hope and comfort, it's a good idea to recognize that relationships also require effort, communication, and mutual commitment. Whether or not two people find their way back to each other can depend on different factors, including, you know, all the things that I mentioned, circumstances, personal growth, random choices, just coincidence, all that kind of stuff. So ultimately, the idea can be seen as a blend of hope, effort, and the unpredictability of life. And reflecting on these aspects can help provide clarity on the nature and future of the, the relationship. And, you know, maybe if it's a violent relationship, which can happen, maybe there's some sort of messed up emotional situation that's linked to abuse. So for my closing thoughts, you know, are two people meant to be together if they keep crossing paths? It's a question without a one-size-fits-all answer. It's subjective and can vary greatly depending on personal beliefs, values, and experiences. Well, technically, you know, if you're being a strictly rationalistic person, you might say that personal beliefs might not be as big of a factor because life doesn't really design itself around our own beliefs. But whatever, you know, I suppose if if you want to believe that life does that, then go right on ahead. I suppose some some coincidences are so great that they seem like things are meant to be that way. So um, remember, while fate may play a role in our minds, well, ultimately, the success of a relationship will depend on the effort and commitment of both individuals. So, I'd like to thank you for tuning into this episode of Critical Weight Theory and having this little heart-to-heart -heart thing about relationships. As you can see, I'm trying to branch out and do different content, and this is just one of those ideas. It might be a failed concept of an episode, I don't know. But, you know, I, I want to prove that I've got different things to talk about. So if you have stories or questions about your experiences with fate or relationships, this would be a, a good episode to respond to. Feel free to share a story with me if, if you're so inclined. And until next time, keep your hearts open and your minds curious.